This video is going to show how to place components with Unified Search and ORCAD X Capture. To activate Unified Search, select Place Component from the menu. Unified Search allows you to access and place components directly from Ultra Librarian, Symaxis, and Snap EDA, as well as the included PSpace libraries and cloud workspaces, saving time and ensuring design accuracy. First, let's place a component from Ultra Librarian, which contains an expansive library of pre verified symbols, footprints, and 3D models. Ultra Librarian can be searched by part number or a portion of the part number. Enter the desired part number into the search field and press Enter on the keyboard to search. This example will search for all parts with string MC33063 in the name. Select the first listing. The part symbol and footprint are shown under Symbols and Footprints in the Properties panel, and the parametric information is displayed, allowing you to efficiently review the component and make informed part decisions for the design. Symbols on the side of the listing show whether the symbol, footprint, and 3D model are included with the part. Right-click the part listing and select Place. Click to place the part in the empty space in the schematic. Right-click and select End Mode. Let's place another component from the Unified Search. Select the Component Explorer tab to reopen the Unified Search. The Search field can also be used to search for keywords in the component's description. Enter a description of the desired part into the search field and press Enter. In this example, all components with Schottky and 1AMP in the description are listed. Select the desired component from the list to review the part information. Right-click and select Place. In this example, we will place the diode between the switch out and V out nets. Right click and select End Mode. With the parts placed in the schematic, reference designators need to be assigned. Double click the reference designator CR1 to change it. Enter D1 and click OK. Double click the value diode to change it. Enter DSS110U and click OK. Next, let's place a component from Symaxis. Select the Component Explorer tab to reopen the unified search. Select Symaxis from the Categories list to search for components from Symaxis. Let's search based on the part description, in this case, N-Channel MOSFET. Select the desired component from the list to review part information. Right-click and select Place. For this part, we'll connect the drain to the switch out net. Right-click and select End Mode. Lastly, we need to connect the new components. Select Place, Wire from the menu, the Wire button from the toolbar, or press W on the keyboard. Click to connect the diode anode to the switch out net and the diode cathode to the V out net. Depending on how the diode is placed, you may need to connect one or both nets. Click to connect the MOSFET drain to switch out and draw stubs on the gate and source. Press Escape on the keyboard when finished. To connect the ground, select Place, Ground from the menu. The Place Ground window opens. Select zero cap sim from the symbol list and click OK. Click to place the ground on the source stub. Right click and select End Mode when finished. Net aliases can be added to the schematic to clearly communicate nets as well as make connections between wires. To add a net alias, select Place Net Alias from the menu, the Net Alias button from the toolbar, or press N on the keyboard. Enter SW Gate for the alias and click OK to place. Click to place the alias on the gate stub. Right-click and select End Mode when finished. This alias has already been placed on pin 2 of the IC. This will connect the gate of the MOSFET to this pin without needing to draw a new wire. Quickly and easily place components from the extensive libraries of Ultra Librarian, Symaxis, and Snap EDA with Unified Search and ORCAD X Capture. For more tutorials, Visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.